Right, this is the feel free kayak which I have modified quite a lot actually. It's called the Lua 11.5, which a lot of you will know about. And uh, what I did is I fitted the motor on the back, and that's the Minakota 35. 35 what? And what I did is I've got this plugged into there, look there, and that's a four pin. And I took the head off of the top. Can you see that? Head off of the top. I'm still in, in, um, working on it actually. I'm still working on it. And, uh, see what I've done now? I've got a bar across there. Across there. This is, at the moment, this is temporary. Where I push that in, push that in. That, that goes in. When you push that in, that will drop when I go in, in the seat. And that's going all the way down here. There's the line there, see the line? All the way down there. This is just a temporary measure. And I've got it on a cleat there, look there. So what I will do is I will pull this, pull this, and that will, see the latch? See that, watch. If I pull this, see that? That pushes that, and, and that will put the tiller down, and the, uh, the prop down, yeah? Okay. So what I've got is a piece of uh, washing machine uh, hose on there, and I've got the wires passing through there. And I cut off the top. And where did I put the top? Because the top on the door there should be there, but it's not. Here it is. There it is. It's alongside my seat. See that? The battery at the moment is full. So there's my controller. So what I do is I just turn at this handle. Let's turn the handle. So that's a controller for there. And I've got my spare paddle there if I need it. I've got my Scotty fishing. Um, Scotty's on the tracking rail there, on the tracking rail. And what I can do is I can, see it pull that. I can't pull it at the moment, but I can use the old lure steering pedal columns, columns, which is on there. There you go. And what I've got is I've got a Lawrence Hook 5 on here, which goes into the pod. And also on the pod, what I've got is, see that? That's a USB connection there, two of them. That's to charge my phone up if I'm out on the sea. So if you see that, that's the pod there, the Lawrence Hook 5. Still getting learning how to get to use that. So my pedals is my steering, which is... Here, there's my steering there. Obviously can't do it at the moment because I'm out of the water. But I had a friend uh, make this up for me. This steel plate, which is stainless steel. He spot welded round there. And he, he got right in there, look, and he bashed that round there. And what I've got is, it goes through a screw there. See the screw? Yeah. And that tightens up there. And I can undo that screw there. And it'll come straight off as soon as I take off the connection to the electric see that and uh, that's still exposed right now what I've so what I've got is I've just connected on to the to the state the old the, the original steering um, rudder what came with the with the pack I've just connected that and I've attached it to, to this looker and then I've got a thread thread rod threaded there with well, these are battery terminals here, you see and I just glued them on with that metal glue. See that? So I can steer left to right. Okay. And then what I've got here as well, in the rod holders, you get two rod holders with these. I've put some waste piping in there, uh, which is also, uh, at the end of there, I've got a light, which is a HDI light. What you get in the new cars now, in the new cars. Okay. And what happens is, it's not final yet because I'm still learning how to do this but I think I'll probably connect two of them up there and I've got my connection see there that's a three two pin it's got four pins but I think I only use two and that's connected inside the kayak through here through here through here so the electric are connected through here so one two three open them up 
See what I'm at the moment, I've just got a makeshift copper tube and that keeps that keeps that uh, battery in from falling. So if I tip upside down, which I probably will a, a few times, um, that will be in there solid because the, the copper tube goes right along this side and right along to the other side. Also, if you see what I've got here, which is a fuse um, for a consumer unit in a house, 50 amp. And I've got my life jacket in the front there. And that's me. There's me wires on there. Yeah, that's how they've been made on. So what's happened is with my, oops, <coughs> with my sonar wires, which I haven't sorted out fully yet, because I would like that on a plug, that goes into there, left, um, positive and neutral, straight into the back of there. So that's got like a, that's an entry point for water there as well, which is not good. Um, but what happens is when I go out, I just, them wires won't really make much of a difference, I don't think, you know? Them wires over there won't make much of a difference. So what I'll do, shut that off, shut that off, and then I come round here, and then what I've got is I've got me the anchor trolley, which is a wheel on there, which goes through here, all the way down here. This is not brilliant, but it does the job. And an anchor trolley and a wheel on the other end as well. So what we do is I attach my anchor to this which is there, it's in there ready to go. And when I'm in the boat, I just pull that, pull that along, don't I? Like that, to the front or to the back. But I'll leave it in the middle at the moment so I can just attach my anchor and tie off, okay? And I've also got my seat, which is fantastic seat. And also, I've got my sealed watertight unit where I've got my bait in here, I've got my radio in here, uh, channel 74, we're on channel 74, and also it's sealed, see, got my keys in there, so if that falls in, it's watertight, and uh, I could just go like that, so, that's so easy to use that, so easy to use, so, I don't think there's anything else, I think I've covered just about everything, so what I'm doing is I'm waiting for this weather to get a little bit better before maybe I can go out tonight but I'll have to be careful because in the distance there's white uh, white waves and I don't really want to get caught with that so I'll just let you have a look around Dover because I'm in the white cliffs of Dover and there's the cliffs there you get lots of people come down here especially in the summer and uh, there we go so what I've got here as well, is I've got, this is a lobster pot, what I'm going to tie to the bottom of my anchor, that unfolds, and it's very, very lightweight and small. So, I've got my light jacket in the front, I've got my radio in the back, and I'm ready to go. It's just I'm waiting for the weather to just get a little bit better than what it is, because I won't be setting off till about six, seven. And I might not get back in till about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So, hope gonna catch lots of fish, but we'll see.